Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to duplicate or copy pages from within Adobe Acrobat. The first file I'm going to look at here is this one that I created from my previous video. It's just a simple ID card or name badge. But after the video, I kind of thought to myself, you know, I really should have set this up so that you print the same thing on both sides. Because if you are walking around with a badge hanging from a lanyard and you, you know you're walking and the the badge kind of moves around a little bit if you print just on the front side the back side is going to be blank so you really should just essentially just print the same thing on both sides of the of the uh, ID card so what we can do is we can just copy each page right simple enough so if I go into my page thumbnail I right click click copy click next to it and hit paste and if it moves around on you you can just basically slide it back into position so you have front side back side and I can continue doing this throughout the document I can also come into my organized pages from within my um, tools and I can do the same thing there as well right click copy paste move it over and I can just do this for the rest of the document. Simple enough. So that's e easy enough to do it that way, right? But what if I have a larger size document? So I'm going to open this back up. And I'm going to go into my print production. I'm going to create a pre-flight. Uh, pre so I've already created one here called Duplicate Pages. And it's been a couple videos since I covered some of the stuff here in pre-flight. Up here you have your libraries. By default you have four here but you can also import different libraries or you can start a new one um, then you have below here you have three different icons here this first one is uh, what they call profiles the middle one's called checks and then the last one is a single fix-up profiles contain multiple fix-ups or checks or you know one of each so that let's say you're going to do something like you need to open a file, you need to convert it to CMYK, and then you need to um, uh, shrink it down in size, or you need to mirror the image. You can apply multiple fix-ups to one specific profile, and it'll do all of those things in whatever order you um, so desire. In the middle here, you have just checkups, and those are just going to be things like, you know, hey, are all the images 300 dpi or something like that? Have all the fonts been outlined? You can run a check through there, and it's not going to change anything with the document, but it's basically just going to give you a report at the end telling you some information about the document. And then, of course, the last one here, which is what I've been uh, doing the last few videos here, is to create single fix-ups. And those will correct, actually create a, um, a some kind of change to the document. And as always, when you go to run it, it's going to prompt you to save it as a you know a new document on your computer. So the one I have here is called Duplicate Pages. Now, if you're creating a new profile from scratch, you're going to go up to uh, uh, Options here, and you're going to go to Create uh, Fix Ups. You can also edit one either by going here and going to uh, edit fix up or you just click the little edit button. So if I click edit here, I'll show you exactly what is contained within this profile. If you search out under the fix up category pages and there's one here called insert page. Essentially what this is designed to do is insert an empty page or a blank page into the document and with a couple modifications we can tell it to actually copy pages from within the document instead so I just named it duplicate pages it's uh, going to duplicate all pages um, a certain amount after we do some inputs so by default you have either after or before each page and then by default here you have to apply to all pages and then by default here, you just, I think it's on copies one, and this checkbox is unchecked. So what I did was I created a variable here. If I uh, click on the little uh, orange triangle here, and I go to edit, if you want, if you're creating this from scratch, you're gonna have to click new variable, but this is what I set up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. 
I have a, a label here that's just called before or after, and by default, it's going to have the after position. Um, but basically, what that's going to do is once you run the fix, it's going to prompt you to say, hey, do you want to insert these pages before or do you want to insert the pages after the current page? And then here, you can either tell it, oh, I want one copy or I can prompt or uh, get a prompt at the time that I run the fix up to ask how many pages do I want to insert. Now, I'll, I'll explain a couple different situations uh, where that comes in valid later. Um, but essentially here, if I click on the edit, I have a label of how many copies do you, uh, of each page do you want to insert, and the default value is going to be one. So, uh, oh, sorry, and the last one here is to check this box. If you leave it unchecked, it's just going to insert the blank page. If you check it, it's actually going to make a copy of each of the pages within the document. So in this case, I'm going to create this lanyard or uh, this copy of this front uh, to make it a front and back so when I place it on the lanyard it's two-sided right so I'm gonna click fix I want to insert one uh, copy and I want to do this after each page I'm gonna click OK and I'll just call this double-sided so hit save it'll go through each of the ten pages and it'll basically create a duplicate of them and you can see now our, our uh, our PDF document has gone from 10 pages to 20, and if I go into my page thumbnails, it's created a duplicate of each of the pages that I started with. So now I can take this over to the printer and I can print it two-sided. So that's one example, um, and that's obviously a lot faster than going into the um, page thumbnail and just copying and pasting. Um, in that case, it, it wasn't so bad because there's only 10 pages that I started with, but you know, what if it was like uh, a 100 page document or something like that take you forever so the second example or you know basically reason why you would set it up as a profile is I have here a five and a half by eight and a half size notepad that I want to create and so I'll, let's say you created this in Illustrator and then you made a um, a PDF from this so now you want now you need to duplicate this 50 times to make it a 50 page notepad right uh, I know you can obviously do things like that from within like uh, a fiery or if you have another front-end system but let's just ignore that for now so if I go into my print production I go to pre-flight I click my duplicate pages I hit fix and I say how many copies of each page do you want to insert and in this case I want to create I want to do 49 additional pages right so you have uh, one page here Another 49 will get you to 50, and I want to do this after each page. Actually, in this case, it doesn't really matter because it's the same um, uh, page. So I'll click OK, and then I'll name this as 50-page uh, notepad. Click Save. And now it's gone through. It's taken the one object, and it's duplicated it 50 total time, or 49 total times to create a 50-page PDF which all pages are the same so that's one example this one here is going to be printed as an NCR document or NCR form I should say so what I've done is I've created a little form number here in the corner so I have one two three four etc all the way to page 500 right but if we're going to do, say, a three-part NCR form, I need to have three duplicate pages of each number in the document. So I can either go through and copy them one by one, or I can use my script. So I go back into my pre-flight, click Fix, and this time I want to insert two after each page, and I'll click OK. And I'll call this, um, let's see, underscore three parts NCR. Hit save. And this may take a minute or so because it's duplicating 500 pages, um, a 500 page document, so it may take a minute. But basically, what it's doing is it's going to do two copies of each page, so you'll end up with a total of. 500 objects copied and it'll turn this from 
500 to 1500 as it just did so you can see here duplicate pages 500 objects and if I click back here here is page one 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 now two 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 three 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 four 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 etc 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 so now I can send this over to the printer and it'll automatically print three copies of each of the pages so that uh, when you finish you'll have a, a three-part three part NCR form all nice and ready for you. So that's basically it. It's just uh, a simple little pre-flight that you can use to duplicate pages. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. If you guys have any ideas for other videos, leave them down in the comments below. Um, I still have some other ideas for more pre-flight uh, videos like this. Some more InDesign stuff, all pre-press related things. Uh, again, I'm, I'm trying to get to some videos where I show some actual printing like I, I did last year, but um, at the moment it's still kind of tough to do. So I've just been doing these videos in the meantime. Um, but if you have a certain video that you, you want to see something on or you have a question about, please leave it down in the comment below and I'll, I'll see if I can create a video um, related to that. As always, like, share, and subscribe. I'm getting close to a thousand subs. I'm still kind of short on the view hours, you know, to get monetized, but I'm not really, I'm not doing it for the money or anything. This is all just basically just to give folks a little bit of uh, information into the pre-press world and uh, what printing is like. When I first started, there were no videos like this on YouTube that existed. So I just want to share and, and, you know, create some good conversations about stuff. So please comment down below. As always, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.